for him is he is going to have Stim. And he wants to try to finish Stim as quickly as possible before the push of Night End hits. Now the thing is, he does have a bunch of Stalkers, he does have a few Sentries, he's warping an additional Zealots here uh, with that Proximity Pylon. Two Bunkers are up for QXC, a third one on its way. So he has a feeling in his gut there might be a push coming in, and Night End's going to move forward right now. He does have a bunch of Sentries, might want to throw down a few Force Holder now. Uh, there's a bunch of SCVs being pulled off the Mineral Line. One Bunker's going to go down, beautiful focusing fire there by, uh, by Night End. Second Bunker's going to go down. QXC's third Bunker's not nearing completion. There it is, it's going to finish. And Night End has a lot of units, 62 supply for Night End. 43 supply for QXC, that is a bunch of sentries and force fields. More zealots coming in behind this. Uh, Night End is looking better and better with wow. more reinforcements here, man. Night End up 55 to 43 supply, only one bunker remains. 4 SCV is getting some decent rep reparations off on it, but it looks like ultimately this bunker is gonna die. No, it's staying alive, the sentry's being targeted down, and goodbye sentries. Night End has no more sentries left, only zealots and stalkers. Will this be enough to end QXC? He will undoubtedly have to lift off his natural expansion and use it to his main, even pulling mules to help the cause, trying to keep those units away from his marines. QXC is gonna have to Night micro like a beast, trying to get some meta back from the field as well, but Nida has so much stuff, and I think Nida is to take this game. Yeah, Nida's in the main. He did so much damage already. 28 supply down for QXC, 47 for Night End. When you're in the main with Zealots, Stalkers, and Sentries, it's very, very hard to kill anything. Additional Zealots here being morphed in at the pylon. QXC is in a bad position, man. I think Night End is sort of recuperating from him waking up so early to play the Snowmats. Coming back here into game He's warming number up, man. four, number five, actually. Uh, this but yeah, Night End might game five, game five. Night End, Night End might actually just uh, is gonna win this game. Yeah, he has so much stuff. He's yeah. essentially doubling the supply of QXC. Sure, you could say, all right, he had two orbitals, but here come four more stalkers, and QXC can't make anything to deal with this. Uh, he's gonna step forward some Marines and Marauders, trying to stay as optimistic as possible. But Night End charging forward with the Zealot stalkers and Sentries, SCVs coming in to have some fun, but it's not going to be enough, and Night End is so far ahead in supply, decimating the entire economy of, uh, of QXC. And there's the GG from QXC, so Night End is going to take game number five. Yeah, let me let me stretch real quick, man. I'm stretching my arms. He's not quitting, get, man. He was down 3-0. For, for those game, of you man. just now joining us, he was down 3-0, and Night End has now won two in a row, and he's making a series out of this best of seven. It's 3-2, man. Honestly, I think it can go either way now. All he really has to do is win the next game, tie it up, bringing up to 3-3, and all he has to do is win another one. And QXC just has to win one. He's kind of been stuck there for the past two games, but Night End is starting a comeback, and uh, he's starting it good, man. Yeah, I mean, if anyone can do it, it's Night End. He's such a solid Protoss player. Uh, QXC has the advantage, though. He can pick the map. He has room to lose another game, but honestly, if he loses again here, you gotta wonder. Night End's gonna have all the momentum, and uh, yeah. he could very well come back and take the show match after QXC. He went up 3-0. Well, we'll see what happens, guys. The next game is gonna be on Ohana, the map choice by QXC. Game number six coming up for the CSN All Star Show Match, best of seven. QXC currently up 3-2 on the verge of taking victory, but Night End. Refusing to give up. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.
All right, guys. Welcome back. This is going to be game number six. In between spawning in at the bottom right-hand location, the blue Protoss player, Naiden, from Team Fnatic Raid, call his opponent in the upper left-hand location of Ohana. It's the purple Terran player, QXC, from Team Complexity. QXC starting off ahead 3-0 against Naiden, but Naiden fighting back. Can yeah. he equalize it here, I promise? What do you think? There's a strong possibility. He is on a two-win streak right now. Yeah, man. I wouldn't be, uh, I'm not going to count him out. I think he can do it, and, uh, I want him to. You know why exactly? Tell tell us why. So Excellent. we can go to an ace match, of course. Congratulations, you're correct. Dude, I can read your mind. <laughs> so yeah, Night End. Night End's gonna win this game. I'm just gonna say it, man. He's gonna win this. It's gonna be tied 3-3. We're gonna go into game seven. All right, let's talk this. about the uh, the game. Let's go ahead and talk about this game. Like the games QXC lost. The first one he lost, I felt like he had a significant advantage. Again, he had 3-3. He just killed the entire Protoss army. Mm -hmm. um, and then some Miss, Miss Micro. Some, you know, some perhaps non-optimal uh, decision-making. You know, let him lose that game. In the next game, going for the two racks play. Said something about the map. Maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. But, uh, you know, he did choose Ohana. And uh, what do you think about Ohana as a map in PvT? Um, I think it's a, you know, we, we talked about this before. We don't really know if it's a Terran map or if it's a Protoss yeah. map. Uh, it can honestly go either way. The third expansion is very easy to take for both players. There's only destructible rocks separating the natural and the third. Uh, and again, it's a large map. So any kind of early rushes aren't going to be so strong because it's a big map, obviously. Uh, but, you know, the map is, is designed sort of for a player to go ahead and take the third. The fourth can be a little bit of a problem. Deciding whether you want to take that right expansion or the left, which is sort of a positional base pushing towards your opponent's expansions. Uh, but it all comes down to uh, the positioning of your units and the kind yeah. of style QXC goes for. Uh, I don't know if... Have you seen a lot of mech plays in TVP on this map? I, I think <laughs> it, Mech and TVP general. It's, uh, I know, I I know mech is not good, yeah. Yeah, I haven't but. seen a lot of. Um, I feel like it can be good on this map. Um, it's... I haven't seen enough PVTs on this map to have a solid decision on, on who it favors. I think it's generally balanced, though. Ultimately, as with most PVTs, it comes down to unit compositions. It is relatively easy to take a third on this map. It is important to note, however, the third is a pretty good distance away from your main, so drops can be fairly effective. That being said, though, there is a good amount of airspace, but not like it's not like an Antigua. It's not like a Shakuras in the amount of airspace. There's just enough where you can sneak in a drop here and there. There's a lot more airspace on the middle left-hand location, so drops at the third can be very effective as a Terran player against a Protoss. But uh, talking about this game a little bit and how it's proceeding. Both these players able to get their expansions up uh, without too much trouble. No engineering bay blocks, no early zealot probe harassment from the Protoss <laughs> player, at, at least yet. Uh, but QXC going for the gasless expand, and Iden saw exactly that this is what happened. And he put down an expansion of his own, only getting one gas this time, though. Corner boosting out a stalker, trying to keep uh, QXC honest in regards to having a bunker. And QXC did scout the Corner boosted gateway, so he should realize that a stalker is coming out pretty fast and should start his bunker fairly soon here. Yeah, and this is Night End playing reactionary to QXC style. In the previous games, you saw there was bunkers in his natural. Uh, very quick marine aggression for QXC. Instead of getting a stalker sentry, he's actually opted to go for two stalkers. Getting a second gateway and a third gateway is Night End. Uh, gas is on its way, so he's going to be on two gas here in the main very shortly. Expansion's completed for Night End. Same exact thing for QXC. Expansion completed for him as well. And. You know, two racks is here for QXC, so he might actually be able to put on a little bit of aggression. He does have a bunch of Marines patrolling here towards the left side. Very alert, scouting for any kind of proxy pro uh, pylons that Night End might be haunting around. And it's a big map. You, you generally can see a lot of pylons around the map, whether it be for drop vision, whether, whether it be for uh, reinforcements for a timing attack. So QXC very much on top of this. Uh, at this point, Night End is going to throw down a robotic facility. And I, I can guarantee you, actually, I'm not going to say I can guarantee you, but uh, I'm almost 60% sure 60%. that we're going to see again Colossus here from Night End. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see QXC approach the natural expansion of his opponent. There's only a sentry here, and QXC is going to target that down. Uh, Night End run. The sentry does survive. But on a force field, force field the ramp. Why didn't he force he field the ramp? Force field Tell me why he didn't. Uh, probe. Oh, no, the SEV gets the sentry kill. And now there are four Marines going uncontested in the main base of Night End. Forced to pull a lot of probes to deal with the sentry coming forward as well. Still no force fields going down. Uh, from Night End, and these Marines actually doing so much damage here. Two Stalkers cleaning up some of the Marines in the middle of the map from QXC, but this attack well worth it for him. Yeah, I think at the same time there was a few Stalkers poking at the uh, 
one of those expansions taken out a few marines so uh, QXC lost a little bit but I think Niden might have lost more. Harvester advantage right now in the favor of